Well, welcome to the Vans Aircraft booth. And uh, there's some new faces uh, at this booth this year, and we're kind of excited. And I got one of them, Josh, Josh Goldsmith. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to 14 Victor Echo. Uh, you know, we're on the other side of uh, the people who need customer service uh, quite often because um, we <laughs> have a lot of questions often. But so you stepped into the customer service role. How's that? Uh, how's that been so far? It's been very educational, very educational. So uh, like you, I was on the other side of the role up until five weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I built an RV14A and it took me about four and a half years. I had a 27 and a half year career prior to that. Okay. And uh, yeah, I finished up my RV14A and took on a new student as a flight instructor. Okay. That new student turned out to be the, the chief operating officer of Vans Aircraft. And uh, I thought, okay, I, I've been on the outside watching what's happening. I really like the things that I'm seeing. And maybe you could lure me out of retirement to, sure. to be a part of that team. The truth of the matter is I've always wanted to be a part of the team. Okay. But the customer service manager position didn't exist. The yeah. kinds of job that I thought would be a good fit for me didn't exist. Okay. So how big is the customer service team now? Yeah, that's a really now good question. Now and where you want to get to. Because exactly. There's probably two different answers. Huh? Yeah, so as long as my boss doesn't see this, I want it to be huge. I want it to be as big as I can possibly make it. Uh, but we have, so under the, the teams that I work with, I have the technical support team, the folks that you call and okay. talk to when you have a problem or you email and you need help figuring so out. So Kevin. I have Kevin. Kevin's He's our Phenomenal. Favorite. Kevin is... Uh, Kevin has been one of my great teachers throughout my build, and okay. then since I came to the company, he's been fantastic. Everybody yeah. there has really treated me well. So some feedback, bring Kevin back to Osh, because yes. we, um, yeah. Kev, uh, if you watch our channel at all, you'll know how big of a fan we are of Kevin. <laughs> and that is not to say that anybody else there is not excellent as well. We just developed that relationship with Kevin. Well, that team is down to two people, and mm. I'm really glad that we led with that because if you're watching this video, I'm hiring for technical support team members right now. Perfect. Um, so, and the goal is to grow that back to a size that allows us to respond to people's questions within okay. a day or two. Since COVID, since um, our, the downsizing of people prior to the Chapter 11 reorganization, We've lost a lot of people in all of the teams, and we're in a rebuilding phase right now. Okay. So what are the qualifications for that position? Uh, ideally, we want somebody who has experience building an RV. Okay. I build an RV14A, and I can, anybody who's done that and then tried to build any of the older aircraft will tell you it's like starting all over again, the education. Yeah. So if you've built a, a three or a four or a yeah. six or a seven, everything else after that is really easy. Okay. Um, so yeah, I really like the idea of somebody that, that has experience in the older aircraft. The, you know, the, the bottom line is you just need to have a lot of curiosity okay. and a desire to, to solve problems. Yep. Even if you don't know the answer, those team members spend a good portion of their day researching and digging up answers yes. that a customer doesn't have the time or the expertise or the access to resources that exactly. we have internally to the customer. Or the customer has access to too many different opinions, yes. but needs a little bit of what What are the pros and cons of those opinions? Because those yes. opinions are usually not bad, but they apply to a situation, and your situation may not be that same one. Right. And to have somebody, that, you know, have the factory say, this is what we would do and why. Uh, I think it's the and why that makes the biggest difference. The other piece that people don't often think about is somebody like Tom or Kevin is a touch point for every customer that calls yes. in. And, and quite often we learn things from our customers that we can then pass on. Yeah. And it's sort of like having, you know, thousands and thousands of tech support people mm -hmm. out there channeling really really interesting solutions yeah. to problems to us and you know they save the best of those and they pass them on now it's been a difficult time and there's no sweeping that under the carpet um i've been uh, very optimistic listening to some of the official presentations that vans has done uh, at oshkosh this year uh and the thing that really resonated for me from the ceo down is changes are being made with 
from the customer's point of view and being driven by how the customer views it. Um, I know it is a long uphill battle. Yes. And the one thing I loved in the presentation was, uh, you know, our say do ratio is at all time low. And we can say all the right things here. No one is going to believe it and trust it until they have experienced it for a period of time. So it's kind of like today's day one, right? We're, we're, we're starting a, a, a new journey that uh, we are hopefully climbing the, um, the, the hill the right way. I think that my timing in terms of joining the company fits into that scenario exactly the way you describe it. Um, I'm, I feel really confident that if the company you know, hit rock bottom, that it's on the upswing. Yep. I joined it on the upswing. The hole is pretty deep. Yep. We recognize that there is an enormous amount of pain and frustration and, and sadness and some heartbreak out yep. there from people who um, have had real struggles realizing the kind of dream yep. that, that I've realized with the completion of my RV14A. And that's my goal. My goal is to is to figure out how we put in systems, processes, and and the kind of service that is needed to get other people across that line. Awesome. And it's uh, there are other options out there in the home built arena. Um, and I know there's been some people. One of our friends have jumped ship to one of the others. It doesn't fly like a Vans. And at the end of the no. day, nothing flies like a Vans aircraft. There's 11,000 aircraft from Vans out there flying, 11, more than that. And uh, it's, you know, Dick Van Grunson set the tone right yep. at the beginning with what a RV should feel like, how it should handle. And I looked, you know, I, I look at experimental aviation kind of the way I look at sports. First, you have to love the sport. Yep. And I love flying and I love, I love all the vendors here. There's some things that I've seen here that they have a different mission than what most RVs are designed to yep. do, and I'm excited about those things. I think they're cool. But at the end of the day, my team is Vans. I, I did a lot of research. I picked the aircraft because of the, the ease of use of the plans, the, the technical support that the company gave, and I don't regret it for a moment. I, the, the thing is a magic carpet. I mean, yes. it really is just incredible what, what it does well. And uh, we did get a little uh, sneak hint about the RV15 is still a priority. Yes. Uh, dates are still not, uh, there's nothing committed to or nothing that we absolutely know. But I think the big news that was shared in the forum is there's a team who is going to make it their primary mission to continue on the RV15. Uh, this does not resume the RV15. It never stopped. It Correct. Just, kind of slow down slowed down exactly. significantly. So the RV-15 is coming. It is coming. Um, you know, worst case, we're, I, they said, what, 27? 2027, worst case. Worst, but you're, you're, the team is working hard to significantly beat that date. Uh, so we all want it. Yes. That's the thing is, you know, it's such a different platform uh, yeah, from different what airplane. Vans has built. And everybody knows, like, one aircraft is never enough. Exactly. And you eventually want you want something that does things different than what you have. And I can't tell you the number of employees internally yep. that are just waiting. Yep. They're waiting for that because that's the one they want to build. All I'm going to say is the hangar that we're going to get that we're on the top of the wait list would fit two airplanes. If it's, one's a high <laughs> okay. wing and one's a low wing. Okay. It won't fit two low wings. So... I'm just saying, yep. you know, uh, I don't want to be in the first wave of 10s, uh, 15s, because I'm not that kind of a test pilot. Uh, and I know with like every airplane that you got to work through and continue to learn. You can only flight test so much, but I could see our baby girl uh, helping build a 15. Yeah. Maybe it'll be a 12, then a 15. I don't know. Um, there's we're, there's we're some things be... about this airplane that I'm really excited to see. There's, yeah. there's a lot of creativity in the engineering department, some ideas that are going to make it an even easier kit to build yep. and a shorter time to completion and I I think your 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 kid will be a great help. Awesome. Now tell me the significance of the new paint job in this RV10 behind us because a lot of us remember the old it was what yellow and white uh, RV10 that was sitting here. Where did that plane go? That is this aircraft. Awesome. Yeah and I, I, I think when you ask the question about what is the significance of it um, it is it's really special. This is serial number one 
of the RV10s and um, the makeover that it got in some ways is kind of symbolic of what's happening at Vans Aircraft right now. You look at this airplane and it, to me, I see like a production quality aircraft with a beautiful panel and an interior. Um, I see a paint job completed by a, a painters at our company in-house in -house. that absolutely killed it when it came time to like I, I, it's it's magnificent yeah. I, my pain my plane isn't painted yet and if oh. I could figure out a way to get them to do it yeah. I mean they really they really did a phenomenal job you know, one of our favorite vendors is evoke and we're gonna yes. have them paint and, I'm, and we all know evoke is the top of the top when it comes to paint yeah. job yeah I you I would not have been surprised if you told me this was an Evoke paint job. It's that good. So it is an Evoke design. Okay. And uh, I mean you can clearly see that in the lines. They yes. do a spectacular a spectacular job with the design. But yeah, everything from the paint job to the fiberglass work to the interior to the to the work that was done cleaning this airplane up, it all really represents what's happening at Vans right now. Excellent. Josh, I'm so glad to have gotten to meet you this trip and to welcome you as a customer to uh, your new job. Thank you. Uh, thank you for taking on the challenge. I know it's not easy, uh, but us customers do appreciate it. And we're looking forward to the, the Vans 2.0, if we will, yes. of uh, where things are going. Um, just uh, help keep the ship pointing in the right direction for us, please. That's my mission. And uh, likewise, it was really a pleasure to meet Thank you, you Josh. on this trip. Take care.